This is the Bosch GT1000 Core. And this tiny little package is filled to the brim with all kinds of incredibly powerful tones, beautiful sounds, and all sorts of different possibilities that can lead to just an endless amount of creativity. So about a year ago or so, I got the Boss GT1000 effects processor, and this thing is massive, but also filled to the brim with an insane amount of tones and possibilities too. So Boss went to the drawing board and said, we want all those possibilities, but scrunched down into a much smaller and lighter package. And so the GT1000 core was made. And really it's all the possibilities, all the beautiful tones and sounds and incredible durability in a much smaller, lightweight and more pedal board friendly package. And before we really dive more into the GT1000 core, I do wanna say for transparency's sake, that Boss did send me this GT1000 core and have compensated me for my time for making this video. But even though Boss has provided the unit and compensated me for my time, uh, this video is just gonna be my honest thoughts on the unit itself and the tones that you can get out of it. So let's get started. So one of the things I really appreciated about the GT1000 when I really started messing around with it originally was the ease of creating your own tones, saving them, and really tweaking them from there to get great sounds. I made two videos where I tried to recreate tones to my best ability, and I think I did really good on quite a few of them. And it was just a blast going through all the different tones, all the different models that they have of amps and microphones, including different IRs as well, and putting in different effects to try and perfectly recreate some tones. So overall with the GT1000 core, you have three bass amp models, as well as five microphone choices, five cab models, but also 16 slots to add your own IRs and over a hundred effects as well. So there's just an insane amount of different ways you can use all of these. But when you're looking at the amount of amp models and I guess cabs available, you might not be super impressed by the number itself, but really I don't mind this at all because there's a lot of versatility for each of the three bass amps by themselves where you can add more onto that to really get the exact tone that you're looking for. For me personally, when creating tones, I absolutely love combining two completely different sounds that you can then merge or really blend into exactly how you want them to be to make just an amazingly powerful and truly awesome tone that really stands out. So not only can you write and edit presets on the fly right there on the unit itself, but using Bluetooth, you can connect to the Boss Tone Studio app on your phone or using USB, connect it to your computer and open up the Boss Tone Studio from there, which is my personal preference. There's also even more possibilities with expression out as well as other ways to control specific pedals and tones on your layout that you have. And what's really cool is not only do you have that expression out and everything, you also have MIDI in and out as well as two return and send modes as well. Now the unit itself only comes with 15 stock presets for bass, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, I can see it being disappointing for some people, but it really covers all the basics. 
And then on top of that, you can get two free extra collections that have 10 tones each. So there's a total of 35 presets from Boss themselves already. And then of course you can make and add your own on top of that. And that's really kind of what I prefer overall. While I do appreciate the presets, I think really digging in and making the sound all your own from scratch is just so gratifying. And also it's something where you can tinker it in every single way that you want from the ground up that just makes it perfect. And, and really overall, it seems like that no matter what, the tones that you get just sound very genuine and very real. That they don't have that sort of digital modeling sort of sound to them. most important things about this I feel besides the awesome tones that you can get is the very small footprint of the pedal itself. You can throw this in a backpack, throw this on a smaller pedal board with other effects that you want on top of it and it's just so light too. And then of course on top of that you have Boss's very amazing durability too. So you know this thing is going to be roadworthy no matter what. So overall with the GT1000 Core, I think it's just such an incredible unit that has so much versatility and so many incredible tones inside of it that's just waiting for you to go and tinker with it no matter which way you want to go. And it's just so much fun too. And on top of that, with this super intuitive and very simple layout of everything, it makes changing things on the fly super easy and I just absolutely love that part of it too. It doesn't have the most presets available and it doesn't have the most available bass amps either, but again, I feel that there's nothing that this can't sound like that wouldn't be extremely satisfying to you. Especially with the amount of effects and different ways you can lay them out on the board, the different cab models you can use with it, and the different outputs you can use as well. It's just an endless amount of different ways to shape the tone that you're looking for. But of course, let me know what you guys thought about the GT1000 Core and how you really feel about sort of multi-effects processing units like this. This is something that I'm really new to, but I absolutely love the idea and just really the simplicity of it too. While it can be a little overwhelming, I feel at first, it's just so much fun to go through and just lay down some super thick, super gnarly tones and then go ahead, go to your next preset that you already made from some just nice, quick, jazzy tones next to it. It's just a lot of fun. But thank y'all so much for watching, for liking, subscribing, for sharing, commenting, all those things, guys. I really, truly do appreciate it. And of course, a humongous thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Mwah. If you would like to help support the channel like one of these beautiful people right here and also get access to videos early, giveaways, and more, go ahead and head over to my Patreon page. But again, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, and I'll see y'all next time.